Hello everyone, Yoko Somina-san, I'm Tokimadoshi, and this is a new series of videos where I show you the stuff that were lost in translation between the Japanese audio and the English subtitle of an anime, in this case, Attack on Titan. We can already start directly with the title of the show, which in the original is Shingeki no Kyojin, and was translated into Attack on Titan. And the Japanese title is made out of two words. First one, Shingeki, is composed of two characters. The first one that can be read Susume, Susume! which means to advance, to proceed, to go forward. And the second one is an attack, or to attack someone. So the word is more about an advancing attack, a charge. Then the second word, Kyojin, is made out of giant and person, which was translated into Titan. But also the big thing is that in Japanese, the order is often the reverse as in English. So it means more the titan of the attack, of the advancing attack. The gear that is used in the show has been translated in a couple of different ways, like omnidimensional maneuvering gear, three-dimensional, vertical maneuvering gear. So which one is the correct one? Well, the Japanese term is the tai kido, and let's start with the easy part. Kido means a mechanism or machine and movement. So a mechanism to help move, and then a vitai is a little bit more complex. It's a term that is usually used in mathematics to talk about a solid body or three-dimensional object, but it's also used in words like vitai ega to talk about a 3D movie, or vitai kosa to talk about a multi-level crossing. So, the Taikido is a mechanism to help you move in a three-dimensional space. でもな、それと奴ら別だよ。兵士になれば壁の補強とかで外をうろつく奴らを見かける機会があるんだが、奴らにこの50メートルの壁をどうこうできるとは思えねえんだ。ちょ、そ、そもそも奴らと戦う
when the soldier here is responding to the mother that just lost her son and saying that they never learn a thing, he's actually using the word seika, which is progress. So he's saying that they didn't get any progress at all with this mission. So it's not necessarily that they did not learn anything about the titans, but they just made no progress at all with fighting back. When Carla is saying that sometimes Ellen doesn't think things through, it's actually a little bit more about him being dangerous or in dangerous situation. At the very end of this first episode, Alumin is talking about being kept in a cage and is using the term Tulikago, which specifically refers to a bird's cage. And I think it puts a little bit more meaning behind it because in this show there's a lot of symbolic stuff in it and birds often represent freedom so they are being robbed of their freedom being kept in those worlds <laughs> 